When life is spinning out of control, tea time can bring the chaos to a relaxing halt. Today, I hope you will join me for a cup of Earl Grey and some little French cakes known as Madeleine. Hello everyone. It's great to see you again. Well, the holidays are upon us. So for afternoon tea today, I'm going to make my signature lemon and rose madeleine. Madeleine are little shell-shaped cakes. They are made in a madeleine pan. Now I bought this pan on Amazon. It is not at all expensive. I will post a link to the pan in the description below. These cakes are a joy to eat and they are no trouble to make. On to the recipe. So in a small bowl, add two thirds cup or 96 grams of regular all purpose or plain flour. Add one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. whisk and then set this aside. Now in a large or large-ish bowl, add one fourth cup, that's 50 grams of regular granulated sugar and then add the zest of one lemon. Now use your impeccably clean fingers to mash the lemon and the sugar together. You want all of the granules of sugar to have that wonderful lemon scent. Smells great already. Now add two large eggs. And whisk vigorously until the mixture turns pale and thick. You want to whisk until your arm is ready to fall off. That's exactly two minutes. Next, beat in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of food grade rose water. You can buy rose water online or you can find it in most kitchen supply stores. Now melt a half cup or 113 grams of butter. I melted this in the microwave. And to the butter, I'm going to add two tablespoons of cold milk. And the cold milk will cool off the butter so I don't end up scrambling the eggs in this mix. And then just whisk it in. Now, add the flour mixture. Grab a spatula and fold the flour into the wet ingredients just until the flour disappears into the batter. Now, let me fetch a sheet of cling film. Now, put the cling film directly on top of the batter in other words, the film should touch the batter. The cling film will stop the batter from forming a film. And then pop this into the refrigerator for at least one hour. You can even refrigerate this overnight. When you are ready to bake, put a baking sheet on the center rack of the oven and then preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 204 degrees Celsius. All right, my batter is chilled. My baking sheet has preheated in the oven. So we're getting ready to bake. So now remove the cling film very gently from the batter. By the way, this is a Genoise batter. It's a French cake batter. 
and then either grease and flour the madeleine pan or much easier spray it with baking spray baking spray contains flour i'm going to do this over the sink now fill the openings just three quarters full if you overfill the pan your madeleine will not reach their full seashell shape potential. You do not have to spread the batter out. The heat of the oven will do that for you. Now bake these on the preheated baking sheet until a little bump appears on the top of each madeleine. That's going to take 11 to 13 minutes. So the little bump or nipple is starting to form on the madeleine. But they have a couple more minutes to go. All right, the madeleine are ready. Let me tell you, my kitchen smells like rose perfume. So now use your finger to knock the little cakes onto a cooling rack. When the cakes are completely cool, you can store them in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag for up to three days. You can even freeze the cakes. Now, we have to make a life-altering decision whether to dust the cakes with confectioner sugar or to glaze them. I'm going to glaze them. And the first thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is... 260 degrees Celsius. All right, to make the glaze, take one cup or 130 grams of confectioner sugar and then sift it into a medium bowl. Yeah, I make these cakes every year at Christmas time and everybody loves them. Of course, they're delicious any time of the year. I think they taste like sunshine. Now take the lemon that you previously zested and add the juice to the confectioner's sugar. Also, add a splash, about a teaspoon of the food grade rose water. <laughs> Smells so good. And whisk. We're looking for a consistency that is no thicker than heavy cream. Here's the consistency you want. Now, line a baking sheet with parchment and then put a cooling rack on top. And then dip the madeleine bump side down into the glaze. Of course, you'll have some glaze on your fingers. That's fine. And then set them on the cooling rack to drain briefly. Now put the cakes in the preheated oven and you have to watch them very carefully. You only want them in the oven until the glaze starts to bubble. That can be anywhere from one to three minutes. Right, they're all bubbling now, so time to remove the madeleine. Look at this. Gorgeous. I'm going to let these cool to room temperature. Meantime, I'm going to make some tea, and I hope you will join me for afternoon tea.
Now, several of you have asked about my tea strainers. I bought a set of four on Amazon. They are very attractive. They are not expensive. I will link them in the description below. Let's head into the music room. a taste. These are heavenly. So not only are these perfumed to perfection, but the edge is nice and crisp and the interior is soft and cake-like. just exquisite. So I hope you will give these Madeleine a try. As you've just seen, they're really easy to make. And you don't have to make them for the holidays. You could make them any time of the year. And speaking of holidays, I'm getting ready to do my very first Christmas vlog. So I hope you will watch. Thank you so much for joining me for afternoon tea today. Remember to give these Madeleine a try. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and to tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.